around. So let me know in the comment section down below, should I cut the strings to wear them like this? Or should I leave them long? This is, this is the most powerful steroid I've ever used. This, my friends, is a incredible, powerful steroid. Opens up your lungs. This is your lungs on steroids. Let's get to the video. So side effects of steroids, got a, it's a prescription only medicine, uh, prescription. SARS-250, insane strength gains, power gains for me. You know, um, broke this rack. I'm not sure how I broke that rack. This rack's quite good, by the way, it's by Talfin. But a real issue here, from too much power, this is a side effect for me, look at that. Duras cassette, still got plenty of life left in it. It's a bit dirty, but you can sort of see there's no, you know, there's no little hooks in it. Still got plenty of life left, but unfortunately, Duras. People say, oh, it's a fake, there's no fake Duras cassettes in the market. There just isn't. Um, it's, an, oh, it's a Duras cassette, it's a legitimate Duras from Shimano Australia. All right, stop saying that Shimano Australia sells fake stuff. They don't. This is a legitimate uh, CS9000. And I'm not, I'm not the only one who's had these problems, you know. There's plenty of people out there who are breaking these, who aren't on steroids. Uh, just have a look on the Google images. It's not some conspiracy. And so see, it's just busted um, straight through. So quite dangerous. So that's a side effect for me, is I'm breaking stuff I never used to break. I always used to use these cassettes, no problems. And then, we'll see about that. It's just, you know, look at that flex. Well, that's not my finger strength. This top carry is okay, but then you go down to the fourth tooth. That's loose tooth, and then this one here is just like, yeah. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna remedy it. We're not gonna get another Shimano in there because it's just gonna fuck up stuff up again. Sorry for the French. And then we have here, this is what you wanna fix it with, SRAM. All right, now SRAM makes some good stuff. They sell some good stuff, same with Shimano. Shimano, you, know, you can't just, rule out a brand just because oh it's SRAM, oh it's Shimano, oh it's Campag. like some of it's legit and some of it's sh not legit yeah it's shit so this is a good I like these ones it's an XG and um these are really good cassettes I don't have any problems with these super strong super expensively <laughs> way too expensive for the average person it's a bit of a ripoff but pretty much one of the lightest strongest cassettes you're going to get so this is 26 this is 28 we're going to chop it down there so yeah it's a side effect still it's another side effect some people are having is they're breaking cranks all right, literally snapping cranks off. So if you do run Shimano, well, I always check my cranks. I'm super paranoid now because these do fail, but they get. Is, is that a crack? No, it's just a little scratch. But you want to, yeah, take take your cranks off for every month or two. Check the back for any cracks because the crack can come from the back side. Also lifts them here. I'll show you what I mean. Ultra Gary Ultegra, 11 speed. All 11 speed can crack. Not that obviously they don't all crack, but they all can crack. They all have the potential to crack. Let's be objective. So what happens is it separates in here. So if you are on steroids or if you do push a few watts, then look out because this is what can can happen for you. Bit shaky camera. Apologise for that. Look at that. Just all right, cracked. Boom. So if you do push out a bit of watts, you know, then just be careful. This is what you want to do. So you can't really see it from from the front, can you? If you if we put this in. Some shoddy camera work, we, we get it done. You can see the point here. This is safety first before fashion. So on the outside, that looks okay. This is gonna give here, but you can't really see that when you got chain rings in there, can you? So it is it, it is a good idea to take your cranks off at least every month or so, or if you do hear any creaking or ticking, or if you're gonna do a criterion, just take your cranks off and just double check the back of them. Because that, my friends, is what we call a catastrophic failure. This is JRA, literally just riding along, and my Ultegra or Dura Ace crank literally just failed on me. So it happens to all 11, it can happen to all 11 speed Ultegra 68 or 8000 or Dura Ace 9000 or 9100 series cranks, all right? The cracks and can crack on the outside, can crack internally, and can lift from here. So it's, it's a bit hard to sell you. The best one is just pull your crank off. It's a very simple job. Pull it off for every month or every few thousand K. Or if you have any creaking, please pull your crank off, inspect it. Don't rely on your bike shop to do that. They're very busy or they're not aware of it. And you know, just things happen, man. So again, this rider who cracked this crank, very strong rider, and he did mention that there was some creaking sounds beforehand and his bike felt a bit weird, but his mechanical skills aren't as good as they, they probably should be for his level of riding through his strength he can break some stuff pretty easy so 
yeah, if you're doing a bit of miles, you want to learn some basic bike stuff, just so you keep yourself safe. Um, and it's all pretty easy now on GCN. You can watch GCN videos for bike tips, or you watch this video now. But yeah, check your stuff. If you're good enough to break stuff, please be good enough to check stuff. Because we can't rely on Shimano to make safe product, really, can we? Spend big bucks on Altegra or Durace, you think, oh, safe. No, 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 no. That is some ignorance right there. Thanks for watching. Don't do steroids, kids. Stay away from drugs.